<laughs> What's up guys, this is Dick from Team PG. We're back with another glitch video. A fiery hot one at that. We're going to catch a Magmar. Now I'm not sure if you can catch Magmar in yellow or not to be honest. I'm, if you can, I'm pretty sure it's over there by Blaine's Island um, with the fire badge. But if you want to catch it and raise it up before you ever get to the fire island, then um, we're, then this is definitely a good way to catch them. All right, guys. So we're over here on the uh, east side of Saffron or the west side of Lavender Town, whichever you want to call it. I use this old man here because he's the most simplest to get to, to be honest, uh, with the flying. But, um, but, uh... You can use a whole bunch of um, different ones. You can use the bicycle guys over here with Celadon City. Or there's an old man right here. Um, or you can use some of the bikers over here. Um, but we can't use the bikers here. Uh, because, um, we have to go to Fusion City for this one. So, but any trainer that you can get in front of, out of their view, and then immediately hit start can start the glitch. So we can go ahead and get started here. We're going to go to this one. We're going to come here. And then as soon as you come into his view, ah, uh, hold on guys. I saved it. So... We'll start right back at the old man. Done a glitch a thousand times. And then I mess up this one. Alright, we'll come over here, get right in front of him. We'll come down and hit start. There it goes. Alright, so now make sure you hit this start and not this one. This one brings up the menu, but it's too slow. Make sure you got to hit this one. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here because we're already a couple of minutes in. We're going to fly to Future City. He's going to see us, but then we're going to fly away. Alright. Now, on my team, you're going to see quite a few um, Pokemon that's going to be seeming kind of weird. But I'm actually doing a challenge. If you haven't watched any of my other videos yet, then uh, you won't understand until I'm telling you now. <coughs> but... I'm doing a challenge where I can only beat the game with Ash's Pokemon. Um, so, that's why I got such high level basic Pokemon. Alright, so this trainer has two Oddishes and a Gloom. We've got to beat the Oddish. Um, remember, don't walk across the front of her. you got to come down and make her come to you. Because if not, it'll freeze. And make sure in between any of the glitches, you do not run into any Pokemon. Do not go in any grass whatsoever. Don't go to any different kind of trainers. Because um, it will change what Pokemon you run into for the glitch. Alright. Let's go ahead and get this started. And of course, he uh, poisons me. Or she. And uh, by the way, guys, sorry if it's a little um, blurry, or uh, not really blurry, but we call it um, fuzzy or whatever. Um, I'm not on my normal camera because we're trying to download a couple of videos at the moment. Um, so we're actually on my wife's phone, and she's actually holding it, which explains why I'm not using the stand. But she's doing really good, to be honest. Um, she's actually done a couple of videos like this so far. Alright, so now we're finally on a Pokemon that we're going to encounter for the Magmar. Magmar. I almost said Malamore, guys. Ain't even a such thing in Gen 1. Alright. So now that we've defeated our trainer here, my Squirtle's poisoned. I'm not allowed to let my Squirtle evolve. So that's why y'all about to see me not let it evolve. There we go. Alright. Since it's poison, we're going to go ahead and take a few seconds here. Few, full heal it. And then... 
Now you can either fly to Saffron City or Lavender Town, either one. Um, as long as you get into the area that the old man's in, that, that's all that matters. If you go to Lavender Town, you would head west. As soon as you get into that first picket fence uh, post, it'll pop up. This one, it'll pop up just as soon as we pass the sign here. Um, the menu pops up, hit B. Don't try to save or anything. Um, and then here commences our battle. And there we have a level 7 Magmar. Alright, so I'm going to switch into Drowsy instead of Pikachu like I normally do. He's a little bit weaker. Hopefully he won't get burned or anything right away. And so that way we can try to disable this Ember attack. Um, Magmar is kind of difficult to catch. Um, so... And I did that because struggle damages him as well. So it's going to allow him. And of course he wakes up right away. Um, and then he's disabled no more as well. And there we go. We finally have a hypnosis. Alright. So now that he's asleep. We're going to switch into Mew. See if we can pound him a couple times. Hopefully he'll stay asleep. Huh. <laughs> pound him a couple of times <laughs> alright guys let's see as long as Mew doesn't hit a critical here no critical there he goes alright and now we're going to try an ultra ball right off the bat guys because I've done it a couple of times and pokeballs and great balls he pops out of and then he pops out of this one too I'll just keep trying another one. He's no longer going to need to use Struggle because um, his Ember is no longer disabled. So, shouldn't nothing knock him out. And there we have it. We finally caught ourselves a Magmar. Alright, <laughs> believe it or not, two or three videos later, about five different tries to finally catch this guy because I either knock him out or run out of Pokeballs. So, alright, but here we go. Magmar Spitfire. Alright, alright, well stay tuned guys. Appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll be back with some more um, different glitches and TCG and BCG videos. Thank you guys.